Moving. Time to call this. Where is he? Who? Someone smashed my car window last night and stole some of Sophie's stuff. Oh, Bush gave me his word that he'd leave you alone. Who else do you think it was? Everything all right, Zach? Oh, hello, Miss Tate. You tell Bush to leave me and Sophie alone because this is his last warning. He was with us all last night. Really? Just tell him. Because you're not just have the police on your backs, I'll have you chucked out of this hovel. You can't do that. This is Tate Land, remember. This is deadly serious. She'll have us chucked out. I told you. I didn't do it. What? Swear on it. All right. And remember, if you lie on that book, you'll be damned. And I'll beat you unconscious. I swear to God, I did know last night. Well, that'll do for me. Now get on feeding them pigs. Right, Dad. Hello. Any chance of looking a horse over for me? No, not today. I'm too busy. Tomorrow's fine. It's a stallion Lord Oakwell's got up for sale. A bit out of your depth there. I don't think so. His family have run racehorses for years. You're not get a bargain out of him. That's where you're wrong. Because I happen to know the Oakwell family have a stately home that's falling about their ears. Mm, what a day. I'm exhausted. Oh, let's not bother cooking. I'll phone for takeaway instead. Oh, sounds great. And I'll open a bottle of wine. Just me and you. At last. I'm sorry. I know we haven't had much time to spend together lately, but between the practice and home farm, life's running me ragged. I know. Hello, Zoe Tate. Can I wait till morning? Okay, give me the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And your address. It's the other side of Hotton. All right, I'm on my way. Sorry, duty calls. Back soon, I promise. Yeah, sure. You keep ignoring me. I'm calling at the police. No! So it'll be back any minute. No, she won't. It's a good hour's drive up into Ilse Ainsworth's place. Oh, my God. It was you that made the phone call. And now I've got you all to myself. <laughs> 